Laughing in the library, the Queen and members of a reading group at the new City Library in Newcastle share a joke. She was very, very nice. Very, very, very chatty. And she seemed to take a long time with everyone, as if she was really interested. The Queen had come together with the Duke of Edinburgh to officially open the £24 million state-of-the-art building. She watched a book reading and met members of staff before unveiling a plaque and signing the visitor's book. They were given flowers and books to commemorate their visit. I gave the Queen a book called Walking with the Witches. And what did she say to you? She said she'd give it to her grandchildren and she said thank you very much. What was it like meeting the Queen? Uh, it was good because you don't get it. Every, you don't get asked to every day. And what did you think of her? Uh, she was nice. Oh, it was really good. It's not. It's not a chance to get it every day, is it? To mark the centenary of Girl Guiding, she watched a demonstration by Girl Guides. It was exciting. Yeah. Um, Very exciting. Yeah. Better than you expected. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Since the library opened three months ago, half a million people have used it, a similar number to those who've visited the Great North Museum since it reopened five months ago, the Queen officially opening the £26 million building. Despite the bitterly cold day, the Queen still went walkabout. The warmth of the welcome seemed to genuinely enthrall Her Majesty in Newcastle's Northumberland Street. From the older generation doffing their hats to the enthusiasm of youth showing her around their new school, the £19 million Washington School in Sunderland, the pupils and staff helped to design one of the greenest buildings in the country. It was a day that many in the North will remember with affection.